Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me. I'm gonna show you real quick how to um, make some fun embellishments and customization on this school bus blanket. I'm using Bernat Blanket Yarn, so it's so soft and plush, and um, I'm using the corner to corner method, but I'm still able to do some surface slip stitching. So at the top, I wrote out school with a little heart. I know it's kind of hard to see on this blanket because it's so big and I can't get it in the camera view um, all at once, but I'll take lots of photos. And then at the bottom, I'm just gonna fold this over. Um, I'm working on the license plate, so it's gonna say um, ABC123. I'm gonna straighten out these stitches a little more and then of course I'm gonna have to weave in my ends. I feel like you guys can't even really see that. So I have the A and the B and then let's go ahead and do the C. So I have my strand of yarn, it's actually just still connected to the ball, and my hook. And I'm going to um, just, I'm gonna start up here, kinda winging it, I'm not like tracing it or anything, and then I'm gonna just take my yarn from the back side and I'm gonna hook it in, and then we are going to slip stitch to make our C. So just make these surface slip stitches, just working in between, let's see if we can get this, let's get in between a stitch over here. Nope, let's start over. It's just, this is always kind of a work in progress here. Um, okay, this should be better. This should be much better. Go down this way. Just gonna kind of work between all the stitches, shifting my body around so it's easier to do this. All right, let's see. Let's go down here. Almost done. And then I'm gonna go around this way now to make the rest of my C. Now the only thing about doing this is the back side is not gonna look like the front side. So um, in doing this kind of slips, surface slip stitch customization, you will definitely have a front and the back of your project. So let me just Clip this yarn. I'm just gonna pull this through. You're gonna wanna weave in all your ends. Okay, so we have A, B, C. Kinda trying to make tall, skinny letters. Kinda like a real license plate, but um, I, might, I might adjust this A a little bit, we'll see. But anyway, we have A, B, C, and then I'm gonna do one, two, three. We're gonna weave it in. So unfortunately, on the back side, it's not as pretty. Um, you kind of, you do get a line, but it's going to be opposite. So it's actually going to be backwards ABC, which isn't going to really help. <laughs> um, but anyway, you can decide to do this or not. You could also stitch on a separate panel, cover that up, or stitch on a separate panel in front, or you could leave a blank. You don't have to do this at all. But kind of thought it would add a little cuteness to the project. Hope you enjoy.